you most amazing viewers, I'm your most amazing host Rebecca Felgate and today I'm bringing you a part 2 to the top 10 terrifying items sold at auction. You guys loved part 1 so much that I thought, you know what, I can bring it back to you even though these lists do creep me out somewhat. These are the things I do for you. If you want to show me some love in return then please do hit that thumbs up button and let me know if you believe in spooks. Coming in at number 10 we have a mummified tongue. Who on earth buys a tongue? Who sells a tongue? Why is there a framed tongue in circulation? This disembodied waggler was sold for $51 in 2014. The description read, interesting mummified dorset tongue in a simple white matted and red textured background shadow box. Tongue is very detailed with taste buds visible. Specimen is correctly preserved and will last indefinitely. Oh great, an indefinite dorset tongue. No thanks. What is a dorset tongue? Can we discuss? Creepier still at number 9, we have long toenail clippings. I'm sorry but toenails are terrifying. In 2015, one guy in the UK sold his toenail clippings for £4.70, so roughly $7. The gardener from Wigan said, I was sat in bed bored one night trying to think up of ways for earning extra few quid, but I don't have any talents or anything. I decided that growing my toenails wouldn't take a lot of effort. The listing advertised free delivery from a 24 year old male with soft feet. Creepy. Coming into number 8, the spooks are here, we've got haunted tap shoes from a deranged child. These shoes sold on eBay in 2015 for $25. Small price tag, big spirit. The shoes allegedly contained the spirit of a child called Lisa who lived in an ill fated nursery wherein a woman named Jenny murdered her baby. It is thought that Lisa's spirit would haunt the shoes at night and she could be heard tap dancing in them. The fact that there's only one ribbon is actually kind of making them a bit more sinister to me. I need symmetry. If this terrifying witch doll isn't haunted, I'll eat my hat. What hat Rebecca? Oh you. Check her out at number 7. I don't like her, she needs to go. Part clown, part sassy witch dressed in her Saturday night finest, I'd rather be anywhere where this honey is not. I wouldn't be surprised if she woke you up in the middle of the night screeching, I'll get you my pretty and your little dog too. Ooh, I'm creepy today too. This she devil sold on eBay for $15 in May 2000. Not much is known about the new owner, hopefully they're still with us, but we don't know. Coming in at number 6, we have this taxidermy dead frog playing golf. You may remember our taxidermied cat slam dunk in a taxidermy bird at part 1. Now I have a similar question here, why? Why? Why the taxidermy things in scenes? I think like dead stuff, sculptures slash art is just creepy. Very creepy. The frog has seemingly been taxidermied with a glazed finish and arranged to look like he's about to get a hole in one. Once again, I'm not here for dead thing art even though it seems like there's a market for everything these days. This piece, let's call it, was listed in May 2000 and sold for just over $14. Coming in at number 5, we have a jacket owned by a serial killer. Jeffrey Dahmer, also known as the Milwaukee Cannibal, was a prolific serial killer from 1978 to 1991. During this time, he raped, murdered and dismembered 17 men and boys. Why anyone would want a piece of his clothing is beyond me. Nonetheless, the coat went up for auction in 2016, selling for $150. The listing read that the the seller was in the same class as Dharma at high school who graduated the year he first started killing. The lister said that Dharma lent him the coat and he never returned it. Still though, just no. Speaking of weird killer items, we have this Casey Anthony Halloween mask at number 4. Ok, not only did someone list the mask of a possible child murderer Casey Anthony on eBay, somebody bought it, but not only did somebody buy it, they bought it for just under a million dollars. What? I'm actually not sure what's scarier, the mask or the fact that someone would pay that much for it. I mean, no. Casey Anthony sensationally went on trial in 2011 for murdering her own daughter. Miraculously, she was acquitted, but the majority of people out there following the case think that she did it. Coming into number 3, we have this man-hating China doll. This doll made headlines in the UK in 2017 when it started scratching men. The doll was bought at a charity shop, but then sold on eBay for £866. The buyer who had got the doll from a charity show appeared on ITV's This Morning, 
claiming the doll was scratching her husband and setting off fire alarms. She then sold it online on the auction site where the new bidders obtained it for a paranormal study. New buyer Lee Steer said that the doll also scratched his father. Now apparently the doll told Lee that her name is Samantha and she would like to quote unquote strike him. Back off Samantha. Coming in at number 2 we have stolen brains. Jars of brains stolen from Indianapolis Medical Museum were sold on eBay for $600 to a man from San Diego. The buyer got suspicious and called the police who organised a sting with the seller in a Dairy Queen. Thief and brain peddler David Charles was caught and arrested and it was later discovered that he had stolen 80 jars of human tissue that he also planned to sell. I'm surprised that the sale of brains even went through on eBay to be honest with you. Some of the brains that he sold had come from the lobotomy of mental asylum patients which is so grim. Thought that we were done with serial killers? We're not. We're back with a horrifying reminder of the killer clown John Wayne Gacy at number 1. John Wayne Gacy tortured and murdered 33 teenage boys and buried a lot of them in the crawl space in his house. Within his community, Gacy was known for his charitable services, often attending children's parties as a clown called Pogo. In somewhat poor and horrifying taste, an artist has made this killer Gacy doll cradling the head of one of his victims. Yeah. Oh, also, fun fact, it glows in the dark. Good. This little treat sold on eBay for $275. Once again, I'm horrified that it exists, but I'm horrified that somebody would actually pay money for it. Not okay on so many levels. So guys, that was the top 10 terrifying items sold at auction part 2. What a treat. If by treat I mean horrifying jaunt through Nocturne Alley, then yeah. I'm just about ready to get out of here. If you like this video, make sure you give it a good thumbs up, share it with a friend, stay subscribed to Most Amazing for more lists just like this, and also leave me a comment to let me know if you had to own one of the things on this list, what would it be? I'm Rebecca Felgate, I'll see you soon. <laughs>